Buying a car is for many the biggest purchase they will make aside from a house. Many people consider a car an investment because of its large price tag. When you make an investment though, you are assuming that you will receive a return on the money that you put in. Cars are notorious though for depreciating in value, unlike property. Sagan Yeltsin is an expert in this area of business. He's with us tonight on Emirates News. Sagan, good to have you with us. Um, Thank you for having me. Now, having. as we know, cars are not really a very good investment. So how can we stop them from depreciating in value? So in general, it's very difficult to stop cars from depreciating its value. It's very a negligible amount of cars who really would be exempt from depreciation. So usually almost literally all cars are going to be depreciating in value. But what you could do is definitely, first of all, avoid a lot of modification from its original states or change its color, for example. The minute the car actually changes from its original paint, it's a huge depreciating uh, factor for, for its resale value. What about um, the here in the UAE? We have a 20% down payment when you buy a new car. Has, has that that was brought in 2011? I mean, has that changed people's buying habits? So it's very similar to the real estate market. Actually, what we've seen is that the amount of loans actually still remains between 20 to 25% in terms of the overall cars uh, which uh, we see. But what has changed definitely is that the buying behavior in relation to someone's budget. So we see that people are not really exceeding their budgets anymore and becoming more realistic in terms of their own financial situation. Uh, does it make financial sense to buy a new car or, or are you also getting a good car if you buy a pre-approved, a dealer approved car? So in general, new cars I consider a bit of a luxury because at the end of the day it has more than just the effect of owning that car it's actually also being one of the first to own a new car which comes out in general if you look at the used cars which come from the so-called pre-approved or certified pre-owned cars you have a certain service which comes with it which could be a warranty contract a service contract it also comes with a kind of peace of mind but in general, I would be careful to not overpay for these services. If you get a good deal for a used car elsewhere and you have means of actually being to inspect that car, then I would really look at the delta you're paying. So in the UAE, do, are we selling more new cars or is the used car sector bigger? And is that the global trend? So in general, it's very surprising to see uh, or I would say not really normal to see the used car business being smaller than a new car business. So what we see is that the new car business is actually three times bigger than the used car business in the region, not only in the UAE, but if you look at mature markets like in Europe, uh, you would see that the new car business is only one fraction, usually around 20% of the used car business. How is the sector adopting new technology and, and mobile phones? So the technology actually has improved many uh, traditional industries. And what we see, especially at sellanycar.com, that people are actually choosing uh, convenience, price, act actually the cost advantage you have with technology. So the only hurdle we had so far was the trust into these services, which has been changing over the past few years. That's why even the automotive industry will further continue to change to new technologies. Well, we appreciate uh, your time this evening. Sagan Yelkin, Yeltsin, thank you very much for joining us. Thank